Nearly two years ago, I filmed a video from here talking about some FTTP, some native FTTP that had been installed. And as we can see there, there is one of the fibre manifolds to produce the native FTTP. And there is one subscriber on that one. And if I just move the camera down a little bit, there is also another FTTP manifold on that pole over there that's slightly hard to see. And that pole's got quite a number of users on it. I think it might have seven or six, but it's pretty near sort of maximum capacity for that fiber manifold. So I've now just headed down a side road where there was this manhole cover before, except since the previous videos that have been filmed, there's now a blown fiber tube there next to the copper distribution cable on the right. Now previously there was just sort of copper cable just lying on the ground here but now it's been sort of mounted overhead and also this pole if we just tilt the camera up there has gained a fibre manifold which has one subscriber on it right now then if we follow the copper cable overhead it goes to this pretty new telegraph pole which has a joint on it and also you can see the fibre cable which is the thin one there which then goes off to my right to a property who's lucky enough to have FTTP So now I'm at pretty much the bottom of this lane and we can see on the left there the copper cable which came from the copper joint in the last video so that's just a section of cable which then goes on to the next copper distribution point there's also a BC manhole on the ground there but as you saw that on the right there was a new telegraph pole and look it has that yellow back black blown fibre tube on it so we just follow it up it goes to a fibre manifold there which does not have any subscribers on it at the moment but then I think this was fitted very recently there used to just be the blown fibre tube sort of laying, lying around sort of on a roll behind this pole here as you saw it is now fitted so all the houses along this section can now get FTTP which is very lucky of them. Now unfortunately I do not live in that FTTP area instead being served by a two kilometre FTTC line but fortunately I get around about 12 megabits per second out of the FTTC which is quite impressive considering my line distance to the cabinet. So um, thanks for watching and I guess I hope in a year or so or maybe in the future I'll do another video of this type where I'll be able to perhaps show the FTTP installed in my house.